Hello and welcome to the Cash Show, the trivia show that's coming directly to your mobile phones. I'm so glad you've joined us today. It's a Sunday, it's hot, it's the last day of the Premiership, so if you support a football team, type away which football team you support. But before we do that, I'm Antoine Allen, I'm your host for today. Let me give some shout outs to some people who've joined us for the first time or you've come back because you love the show. So we've got Kelly is asking, is it real money? Yes, you do win real money, Kellen. Uh, Kirsty and Trevor are here. We've got Molly and Stu. That's a shout out from your friend. Hannah and Nathan are here showing their 93 year old nan how to play the game. I love that when people play with their mates and their family, it makes it even better. And another shout out to Lee Roy Smith, who wants to win so he can get the money so he can propose to his girlfriend. Well, you're gonna have to keep playing the game a lot more so you can get enough money, but either way, I'm sure you can have a good time. Just a quick update, today is the last day of the show being at this time, so from tomorrow onwards, the first show will be 12 p.m. and the next show will be 8.30 p.m., so make sure you do Turn on those notifications so you can arrive ready to play the game because that's how you win the real cash. You have to be here to play the game. With that all said, I know you're ready to go. If you need to know the rules where it's simple, you just basically answer the questions. The further you get throughout the show, the more chance you have of winning. So as I said, it's the last day of the Premiership, but we're not playing football today. We're playing the quiz show, so let's begin the show. <laughs> So our first question is, cilantro is an Americanism for which herb? Basil, coriander, dill. So I know some of you are probably making your Sunday lunch and you're wondering, well, I've never heard of the Americanism before. I didn't know this one actually, but the correct answer is coriander. Yes, you use coriander when you're cooking some fish or you're generally just making some nice meal and trying to make it a little bit better. So all plants and plants are edible, but the fresh leaves or dried seeds are parts of the traditional use for cooking. So nice fun fact about coriander. With that said, we're gonna move on to our next question. So which of the following is not the name of a main character from the TV show Friends? Jory, Rachel, or Pauline? So I think Friends is probably one of the biggest shows globally. It doesn't matter where you live, everybody's seen an episode of Friends and they'd know Joey, they'd know Rachel, but I'm pretty sure you wouldn't know Pauline. Well, obviously, Pauline is not one of the members of Friends. Friends first aired on NBC from September 22nd to 1994 to May 6th, 2004. There's talk of another series coming, but they get paid so much each episode, but we're trying to make some money for ourselves, so we're gonna move on to our next question. So our next question is, what is a whisk commonly used for? Chopping vegetables, beating eggs, grinding coffee. So I can see that most of you kind of knew the answer to that one. I'm not sure you can be whisking coffee or you can use it to beat eggs. Obviously, yes, it's for beating eggs. So the correct answer is beating eggs. Wigs are commonly used to whip eggs firmly into a foamy froth. Obviously, if you're trying to make some delicious pancakes, you'd be beating those eggs and you'd be making your pancake mixture. But I'm sure most of you knew the answer to that one. So we are going to move on to our next question. How did the clientele of opium dens typically consume opium? Smoking, eating, drinking. So of course, this is more of a historical question. If you've ever been into Shakespeare or you generally like watching history documentaries, you'd know that opium was very big in the Middle Ages and obviously they're still used a lot now. But the correct answer is smoking. Obviously you can't eat opium, that'd be so random. The correct answer is smoking. Opium dens were prevalent in many parts of the world in the 19th century, most notably in China, Southeast Asia, North America and France. So a nice fun fact there. We're gonna move on to our next question. So, which species of fish is known for its impressive ability to swim upstream and up waterfalls? Salmon, trout, carp. 
So literally, this is a fun fact about me. Like I'm always cooking this fish. Like I love cooking it. It's easy to get. It's a little bit too expensive these days, but that fish is actually salmon. Yes, salmon is spend their old life in the rivers and they swim out to the sea where they live their adult lives and again come back in so they can spawn their children. But with that said, I'm sure we're all looking forward because we're now into those prize questions, which is your chance to earn that real cash. So our first prize question is, which of the following elements is not a noble gas? Neon, helium, hydrogen. I'd love for this question to have like a balloon that's helium and I could just like do it and my voice would go really, really high, but I, I, I can just do that because my voice isn't that deep. But the answer is actually hydrogen. Yes, the correct answer is hydrogen. The noble gases understand the conditions are odorless, colorless, monotomatic gases with very low chemical reactivity. That basically means they don't explode, whereas hydrogen is obviously very explosive. So with that said, we're going to move on to our next question. Which of the following is not the name of an enemy in the Super Mario universe. Cataquack, Pokey, Frigid. So I know some of you have probably played Mario so much. Mario Kart's massive. It's probably the only thing that's keeping Nintendo alive these days. But if you have been a big Mario fan, you know that Frigidit is not one of those. Yes, Pokies are cactus enemies. Cataquites are a duck-like creature, whereas Frigidit, it, it just doesn't exist. We just kind of made that one up. So hopefully you are big Mario fans who are able to get that question correct. It was actually quite hard, but we're going to move on to our next question. So which animal will you find on the flag of Albania? Eagle, snake, lion. So this animal is synonymous with another country who also begins with an A to an extent. So America also has a connection with this animal and that animal is obviously an eagle. Yes, the flag of Albania is a red flag with a silhouette black double-headed eagle in the center. It's really weird how different animals appear on different flags. Like who chooses your national animal? Is there like a vote? Well, I don't know, but we're gonna move on to our next question. So, SpongeBob SquarePants and which other musical were nominated for 12 awards at the 2018 Tonys? Legally Blonde, The Mo Notebook, and Mean Girls. So all of them are massive films, and most likely you've probably seen some of them, especially The Notebook. That's a big favorite with people who are in relationships, but the answer is actually Mean Girls, yes. Mean Girls is a musical by Tina Frey, and the music's by Jeff Richard, and the lyrics are by Nell Benjamin, based on a 2004 film of the same name. If you get a chance, go check it out. It's a very good play. But we're gonna move on to our next question. So, in Islamic mythology, a Dijin is an entity most often associated with element. Which element was it? Water, earth, fire. So, we've got the last two questions coming up. And I know some of you are wondering what a Dijin is. Well, it's a type of spirit, but it's a little bit more like a demon. And the correct answer is a fire. Yes, we are into that one. So a Dijin is the invisible entity created by God out of a mixture of fire and fire. So it's a great little fun fact, but we've got two questions left. So I know you're raring to go, so we're gonna move on to our next one. Our first question is, which of the following is not the name of a college of the University of Cambridge? Newham, Flaxton, Girton. So I know some of you are still in the round and you're thinking, oh my God, I don't really know this one. Well, Flaxton is actually a spawn of fish. So it's nothing to do with University of Cambridge. So the University of Cambridge College provides most of the accommodation for undergraduates and graduates at the university. But Flaxton actually is a type of catfish. So it's nothing to do with the college. So hopefully you didn't click that one, but we've got one question left. So make sure you stay with us. So our final question is, which of the following Chinese social media platforms is not primarily for sharing videos? Dijon, Quay, Pleco. So I know some of you have probably got 
completely flabbergasted by that question. Like I didn't know the answer. I actually had to do a little bit of research myself. And the answer is Pleco, yes. Pleco is a Chinese to English translation app with Dian and Quay are used for sharing video content. So if you were trying to work out what they were saying in your favorite Chinese movie, then you'd probably use Pleco as your app of choice. But with that said, that was our last question. Remember to stay around because tonight we're going to have the lucky spin, but we're going to talk through some of our lucky winners today. So 215 of you made it to our last question. So well done, because I think the questions today were pretty hard. So well done on you. Um, and we're going to talk through some of our shout outs for our winners who got all the way to the end. Everyone that played, I'm sure you had a very good time. Remember to invite your friends and then you can get extra lives, which means you have more chance to keep winning some cash. But here come the shout outs. We've got Tia Monk. Well done. We've got V6 Boy. We've got Top Gunner Tom. Well done, Top Gunner Tom, you have a winning name. We've got Make Pen, we've got Hasty UK, we've got some people down here on the shout as well. We've got Zonio, I'm trying to see Big Shot Bob, he's not here today. We've got Bob Queen, which is kind of close to Big Shot Bob. It's your Steve Boy, how you doing boy Steve? How you, uh, there's the complications in that name. We've got Biffy Buffin and we've got Tia Monk as well, I'll give you another shout out. So once again, thank you everyone who's joined up. You've won £3.46, so our next game is going to be tonight. I'll be back and we have the lucky spin. So make sure you tune in. It's going to be another great show. Have a great day.